was mad we were talking about the death knell of the provincial championships and I saw you did a piece in the 42 Declan with this but I'll throw this over to you Cotton like you've played over in New York a few times um, but the scenes there on Saturday night were something else really weren't they? Yeah it was unbelievable I actually I stayed up to watch it um, it was it was cracking stuff like there was no, no more than I think two points in it at any stage it was, it was brilliant viewing I was watching it in here I was wrecked all day yesterday because I was up so late watching it Um <laughs> But like there was there was everything in it, like, like even down to the penalties, two of them off the crossbar, one off the post. Like it was just it was it was savage entertainment. Um, look at I, I I only from a, from a kind of point of view, and I think probably definitely the Ulster Championship. Maybe maybe the other two may, mightn't be as, as as competitive. But you see, I seen the highlights last night of Clare and Cork game. Like you know, Clare were delighted to win that game. Um, it's. Uh, like I, 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 I still, I'm not sure that the provincial champs, championships will be gone because bar maybe two or three teams, it's the only realistic chance that the that teams have of winning uh, national or you know silverware throughout the year. You know the your um, you know Galway, Mayo, like they haven't won all Ireland for for a long, long, long time. So to get silverware, it's it's one of the the, the main objectives at the start of the year. Well, it always was when I was playing, anyway, you know. Definitely, yeah. There's only a couple of competitions that that you can win. Uh, just just a quick one, deck on that on that game in 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 the Bronx. Like even Johnny Glynn was was that fatigued from his efforts. He was just hugging someone on the sideline while everyone else was running onto the pitch. Like that's the real. I think it's their twenty third twenty third time lucky. It's um, it's like it's on the chap. It was the first day of the championship, and it's kind of lit up the championship already. Ah, it's brilliant. It's absolutely fantastic for them and all the different people involved over there. And and you know it's New York's win, but it's also a win in some ways for for London, and it's a, it's a win for anyone who's involved promoting get games, out foreign lands like you know people in Australia uh, and the sand pits in the Middle East and all those places like because like you know there there are people that go and live and work in these communities and all of a sudden then they're in, involved in a GA club. And they're they're doing unbelievable things, like and they're, and they're really progressive. Like if you look at the clubs, some of the clubs over there, like Rockland, and that they're standalone places with their own facilities and all that. It's just astonishing what goes on. So, in terms of football side of it, like it was always probably going to happen, but at the same time, like you know, you'd be thinking it might happen in a year where Leitrim or Sligo might be down around position five, six of the National League in Division Four, and maybe only picked up one or two wins. Leitrim were coming in there looking actually good. And yeah. the whole kind of narrative that we spring up now is that shocks don't happen, i.e. an Antrim can never catch an Armagh. We'll get to that like in a bit. But because the teams are too organised and there's just too many processes and they're just too cute and they're too, too, they're too much in tune with what is going on and how to kill the game and all that. And we saw an awful lot of that in Castle Bar. But... Uh, like looking back over the highlights at the same time, League from left an absolute flood of goals behind them. Like, and there could have been a penalty shot for your the guy the corner back at the very end. But uh, it's there's no doubt about it. Like, there's there's just something incredibly picturesque about that place in the Bronx. Uh, and I think that they changed the camera angle this time for it to show a, a more sort of a uh, a wilder scene, you know, that, that especially that that fence up around the baseball sort of background there. Uh, absolutely fantastic for everyone involved. And like, you know, there's people like Joan Henshey, even Larry McCarthy himself, like, and by God, they have they have put their life's work into New York GA. And it's great to see it. Uh, it was great. It's great to see even Shane Carty on the Sunday game last night standing outside some pub with a lot of construction in the background. It was good to see even that uh Modern media has moved on, and they were able to get somebody like that after a game because yeah. it's such a big, it's such a big, it's such a big thing. Like, and it's remember, be, you know, uh, do you remember I, the? I think, I think. So I, th I think as well though. Like um, you, were, you were talking about Leitrim there. Like uh, to be fair to Leitrim, like that, that was a very strong New York team. Like if you go, it's just definitely the strongest team they've had for yeah. probably ever. I would say, you know, like the 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 Johnny Glynn, um, Mark Ellis, Shane Carty. Um, Varley from Galway, uh, Owen Cairns from Galway, Bill Maher from Tipperary, um, mm. like that's just to name a few of them. Like they, they had really, really good, a, a good side, and they and they played well on the night. Like their fitness levels were unbelievable right up until the end. <laughs> the one thing I would say from both sets of players is that like coming towards the end, there was obviously a lot of mistakes, but Jesus, they put everything on the line. Like those lads going down with cramp, like it's 
it's it's a tough it's a tough game over there. Like I've I've played it a few times. It's not an e- it's not an easy place to go. Like your preparation is so different. You're expected to win. It's 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 not an easy one, like you know. So no, it's, it's um, not simple. It's not simple. It's not simple on on each one, you know. When when you go out there to play in in New York, Cahill, uh what's your mindset like? I, is is there a great deal of nervousness because you know even it's just, it's just really trying to get over it, like you know, you just want to go over and win the game, like you know. Um, I was I played over there three times. Um, the first time was actually under John Mahon. So <clears throat> we had a tight for maybe 50, 55 minutes and we, we kicked on. That was actually, I made my debut that day. And the second time down to 2011, we'd actually lost the Division 4 final the week before to, to, to Lanford. And then we went out and we sort of blew them out of the water in the first 10 or 15 minutes. And then the last, uh, in 16 then, was the time that was tight. You know, it was actually kind of similar to the, the game the last night. We lost, we missed a load of goal chances. Um, the first maybe half, I think we had five very good goal chances. Vinnie Cadden was in goals from Sligo, and he he was man of the match actually. And uh, you know we left the minute, and they they kicked on, and it was only a point or two on the finish. Like you know, it was nervy, it was nervy stuff. Like you know, you're you're not going to get anything for for winning it. Like you know, you're not going to get any plaudits. It's just a matter of of, of doing it. But the other, the other thing then with um, you were talking about the work that goes on out there. I actually, we're actually I work with Connacht GA, and we're linked with them, and. Um, I'm actually going out this weekend delivering some coach education courses out there, but you couldn't underestimate the amount of work that that New York and the people out there do. You know, there's two full time officers out there working hurling and football. Um, you know, they they came home and won a colleges tournament the the Sigerson weekend there. That's you know, right, they'll, have a, yeah. they'll, have, they'll have a team coming home for Fela. They've a they've a they've a, they've a hurling and a football team. They've actually a hurling and football team coming home for both Felas. And the hurling and football team coming home under seventeen as well, um, them weekends as well. So like that, um, takes serious effort and time from from them out there. And I I know <laughs> I'll be doing a few sessions with their squads this weekend as well. But like their fail a team that'll be coming home, like they could have players traveling two hours plus to training, you know, on on two two or three times a week. So it's um, it's it's brilliant what what the Irish community do over there, like. I think you might have picked the wrong weekend to go out. Now there'll still be there'll still be a there'll still be a carryover, all right. But I'd say the last weekend would have been better. I just leave I'm, you on not, this I'm, one. I'm not I'm not able for that anymore. <laughs> I like this all. Uh, I leave you on this one, Cotton, and let you go. Then they they face Sligo obviously in the semi final. Um, like if you look at Sligo and Leitrim <clears> last year when they met in the Tolshan Cup, I think it was penalties that that Sligo, that Sligo won, and there wouldn't be that much between them based on Division Four standings. There wouldn't be that much between them either. Like. Is there any chance of a, any chance of another shock? I look at there's always a chance. Like um, New York have a good team. Like you know the the, the good players the, the whole way through, and they've, they've some good players on the bench as well. Um, now I do I do think Sligo will beat them. Um, you know they'll be at home. New York will have to do the travelling this time, so that's another factor on them. The, the game will be on grass, um, and Sligo have been going well the last couple of weeks too. They they probably had a, a they had a pour out in the first day against Leash, I think. And they've really kicked into gear since that, and I think the momentum will be with them. And that have, like they had probably a tricky one going to London at the weekend, and they they won it fairly comprehensively after winning the league final the week before. So, I I I I'd be expecting that Sligo will win that. Good man, Carl. Thanks a million for joining us this morning. I appreciate it. And uh, okay. it could be it. the Rossies are waiting in the long grass in the semi final again, no doubt. <laughs> thanks, Carl. Talk soon. Thanks, mate. Good man. Hey,